In just a moment, you can see how humans appeared and how our ancestors lived in the Paleolithic and Neolithic eras. Now let's start Robin's record. About 3.9 million years ago, the first early humans, Australopithecus, appeared in Africa. They couldn't walk completely upright, but they could walk on both feet and use simple tools. About 1.8 million years ago, as time passed, Homo erectus appeared in Europe and Asia, as well as Africa. They used fire and began communicating with one another through language. About 400,000 years ago, Homo neanderthalensis appeared mainly in Europe and in the Mediterranean. They had a similar body structure and brain capacity to modern humans. They had the custom of Sutiism to bury the dead, and the traces of placing flowers on tombs seems to suggest that they had religious sentiments. Homo neanderthalensis coexisted with Homo sapiens for a long time, but they went extinct around 28,000 years ago. Homo sapiens, the ancestor of modern humans, first appeared in Africa about 200,000 years ago and spread to Asia and Europe. They acclimated to various climates and soils around the world and began to develop different physical characteristics creating Asian, black, and white features. Europe's Cro-Magnons and China's upper cavemen belonged to the Homo sapiens species. Homo sapiens then had cranial bones and a skeletal structure that are nearly identical to our modern ones now and they hunted and collected using sophisticated tools. The Paleolithic era is the period from the advent of humans to about 10,000 years ago. Paleolithic humans used chip stone tools made by naturally breaking stones. Their flint tools included hand axes, scrapers, choppers, etc. They collected fruits and roots of plants with flint tools and hunted animals and fish with simple arrows and fishing tools. Paleolithic humans lived in caves or forests and moved around looking for food. They used language, tools, fire, and so on, and it seems they knew how to communicate and cooperate with one another when hunting large animals. In the Paleolithic era, humans developed culture as they gradually evolved. Among these cultures, the Cro-Magnons wished for fertility, abundance, and success in hunting and left carved statues of voluptuous women and various cave paintings. Paleolithic humans' residences discovered in South Africa suggests that they lived in caves under the shadow of rocks or built temporary dwellings along riversides and lived in groups. Also, in the Lascaux cave paintings found in France, you can see that the concave and convex walls of the cave were used to vividly depict animals as if they were popping out. In addition, the Venus of Willendorf found in Austria suggests that they wished for fertility and abundance. At the end of the last ice age, about 10,000 years ago, the Earth's temperature began to rise. The distribution of plants changed accordingly, and small animals such as deer and wild boar, as well as fish and shellfish, thrived. Humans changed their tools to adapt to these natural changes. Then, humans started grinding stones to make more sophisticated polished stone tools and earthenware to store food. This is where the Paleolithic era ended and the Neolithic era began. Stone axes, stone sickles, bone needles, earthenware, grinding stones, and milling stones gave us a glimpse into the Neolithic life. In the Neolithic era, agriculture and livestock farming began, which drastically changed human life. We call this the Neolithic Revolution. Then, Neolithic humans evolved from the hunting and gathering life stage, in which they got food as nature provided it to them, to the production stage of food, using nature intentionally. This dramatically improved productivity, and the population began to grow. On the murals of Tassili Najer, found in Algeria, we can see the Neolithic humans feeding cattle, raising livestock, farming agricultural products, and more. Instead of moving around to many places, they began to settle in one place, making looms and dressing themselves with spun flax and fleece. On the residential ruins of Katal Huk found in Turkey, we can see that rectangular houses made of clay bricks are attached to one another, suggesting the formation of villages. Neolithic humans also had primitive forms of religious rituals. They valued natural phenomena that affect agriculture, such as the sun, wind, and rain, and performed religious rituals through animism, believing that spirits resided in water and trees or megalithic worshipping. 
Discovered in England, Stonehenge is a relic representing megalithic culture in the late Neolithic period and suggests that Neolithic humans performed religious rituals and astronomical observations. With the development of agriculture and livestock farming, humans gradually settled on the plains and began to live in villages. Villagers shared the same ancestors and divided their produce evenly, forming a clan society where people with the same blood lived together. In the second half of the Neolithic era, as productivity further improved, the size of villages expanded, the division of labor took place, and private property began to appear. Furthermore, strong clans merged with the weak clans to form a tribe, and classes became diversified with a ruling class emerging. And finally, civilization began based on the agricultural culture that had begun with the Neolithic Revolution. What civilizations will humans develop? Robin's record will continue with the occurrence of four civilizations.